All right, I'm in Asphodel now, and there's a couple things to remember here. Um, just off the bat, there's lava now, which is very annoying. I do often make the mistake of stepping into it. Um, that's also why when I, if I do a pact of punishment, I usually don't do the one that increases the damage of traps, because I usually get distracted and assign some way to just uh, stumble into a trap all the time, and then I'll get wrecked for it so i usually just never pick that one uh, it's up to you depending on how careful you think you are just know that when you have a pact on instead of doing you know one damage for stepping on the lava you take like five damage and it's so much more punishing so i i really think you're just better off just not playing with fire and just turning the traps off you know it's only one heat level of heat um you'll find some other way to compensate that somewhere else so yeah again i Further justify my um my choice of the um, mirror perks. The favor of the gods is great because I I know I'm gonna get a mixed variety most of the time. Most times I'll get a mixed variety of uh, gods. So I'll just this is another opportunity. I haven't got anything from um this goddess yet, so I know that I'll just do more damage. Five percent more damage. It's free damage. Why not? All right, um, so again, I said I'm saving my attack slot for Poseidon, so I'm not going to go for this, even though it's rare. Crush Shot, you have to really justify using it in a build, um, unless you build a build around, you know, doing that weak damage up close, I really think it's not a good idea, um, just because the cast is better off for a long range effect, whether that means that you're doing... Uh, Artemis seeking cast to hit one enemy that's far away, or you're using the um, Athena deflect cast, which is effective for you know clearing a screen of projectiles coming your way, um, or using the uh, Ares cast. I mean, there's just there's just better cast. Your cast is your backup for if you. Although I am using a projectile um, arm ornament right now, if you weren't, though, your cast is your backup for um, distance damage. So. You kind of shoot yourself in the foot using a making your cast short range. It's just not very good at all. So I'm just gonna go for a different league here again, just to you know, had that spot and my attack empty, so I can save it for later. Now, obviously, um, between getting an um, an Aphrodite boon and seeing Eurydice, I'm gonna try to see Eurydice instead, and I'm gonna talk a bit about. What of the um, three things that Eurydice will give you, you should try to go for when you're given the option? And I just really love how this game always has like a different conversation. It's just so well thought out. Like, that's why I love this game. Um, I don't know, I'm just really invested in the characters sometimes. Uh, okay, okay. Um, I was talking about just the items here. So, Ambrosia Delight is usually what I go for because it just upgrades my boons. But right now, I already have an epic and the things I know I want. So, I'm good. I don't need that. Um, usually, if I were to get like a rare or a standard version of like the attack or special boons that I want, then I would try to like upgrade it. But I don't need that. Also, leveling up my things a bit more. Right now, doesn't seem very necessary. I'm, I'm good. And, like, I have some things I don't really, again, want, like Bird Frenzy in different league. I just had those just to make sure I wouldn't be wasting slots. So I'm going to go for Refreshing Nectar because I'm anticipating that the next three boons I'm going to get are going to be even better and there's going to be something I actually want. And it's Artemis. So I like Artemis a lot. Um, her, I think she has the best boons in the game, in my opinion. So that's even better. Um, I probably should have looked at what god it was before I checked to do that. <laughs> it's a good recommendation for next time. Because if you see that it's a god, you'll have to keep that in fact. Because let's say if it was uh, Dionysus or Aphrodite, which I think have some of the worst boons in the game, I probably shouldn't have done that. So just 
always make sure you check. Don't don't be me. <laughs> um, it's a good it's a good idea to keep in um, checking what room is going to be if you're going to um, be doing that. Now remember your um your um call from the gods expires after you leave that room. So just always use it. I usually just use it as soon as it triggers, just because um just get it out of the way. Okay, this is all good stuff. Um, so I actually like supporting fire, but that's just like small extra damage. What I want is like my big burst damage, and that will be Hunter's Mark. Um, that'll make sure I always keep on doing crits. Yeah, I have a pretty good chance of doing crits right now. Oh, also, if you see a trove trial, for, trove trial for health, they always do it. There's no reason not to, unless you're on a high pact of punishment level, which usually when you're on a high pact of punishment level, you'll never beat them quick enough to actually get the reward. So, yeah, then don't do it. It's not smart. But you see, I just took damage. I don't really care. I'm kind of playing stupid now, because I know I'm just going to get 120, um, about a hundred something about like 120 back because right now I'm, I'm just popping off i'm doing fine i don't have to worry um see i still got 108 hp back i'm max p again hooray all right um i don't have a dionysus boon yet and again with uh my build the, the uh, perk i have having a variety of guys is pretty helpful so i'm just gonna go for one and also step on the lava um i usually make that mistake <laughs> sometimes yeah just be careful when you try to get onto the docks don't dash into it just walk into it for the cast enter if it's not already into her dead these are generally pretty hard i'm um, pretty easy to beat these bosses only time they're difficult is like when you have the pact on that makes the mini bosses stronger because then they're just annoying because then the medusa head moves around and then the um the stone that comes down has a way bigger aoe effect so that's annoying All right, um, epic. Yeah, these are pretty good. Um, so I usually like to leave my dash for um things that'll do damage, just because you'd be surprised of how much damage you can do from just dashing back and forth in a room, especially when you're really crowded and you have a projectile weapon. You don't have too many options because they're too close for you to like knock them back with the stun that you normally the uh, get for like the damage output of a melee weapon. So I. Even though this is good, I'm not going to go for it. Instead, I'm going to go for positive outlook. Just in case I take 40% um, to low damage. Again, I'm still hoping that I'm going to get a better attack. Um, I generally think this is just a bad idea. Again, unless you're making a build around doing that um, status effect. Just don't. So there's a fishing spot here, so I'm going to fish. The fish will come the first, second, or third time, so you this it happens randomly, so you just have to anticipate it. I remember thinking that oh, they always come the third time. Nope, they they'll come whenever they want. So uh, just make sure you're just ready for it. A lot of times you just want to stand idle next to a spawning point when you see the they're going to come in. As long as there's not too many around you, you can just get an easy hit off of the first one without having to risk taking any damage. But yeah, um, always if you can, if you see that um, something's about to spawn in right there, uh, especially if you have a charge weapon, like let's say like the shield or you have um, like the special of your adamant rail, just fire it down right on the uh, charge it up right where they're about to spawn. So you can cap them as soon as they spawn, like no problem.
All right. Um, right now, I already have probably the the most. I'm already good on speed right now because I have the um the boom from Hermes. So I don't really think I need another one. And in fact, I would rather try to go for health right now, uh, just because my general rule is to get at least four centaur hearts for every run to have a minimum of 200 HP. You see how much that um, marked for death is coming in help right now, though? Because I have pretty much a almost 100% chance of doing critical hits now. And that's how you kind of change your build from being, wow, you know, trying to do attacks over and over again. to just, You can just spam special. I don't even have to use, activate the targeting of Chiron. Um, I can just keep on doing this. Again, this is not really the, um, Asphodel is not really the level of hell to start messing around with those. I mean, I guess I would say it's the last level for you to start messing around with because you definitely don't want to do any chaos, um, um, negative boons in Elysium. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to mess with that right now. Always check the shops though, because you never know what you might find. Remember, I, I still have my, um, Iker right there. And I got that for 10 coins, so if you see that, always get it. But right now, I'm fine. I don't really need any of these things. I think they're really only useful for getting health, or if you lost the Death Defiance and getting uh, Kiss of Sticks. So right now, I'm probably going to face the boss pretty soon, I would imagine. Um, you only see the shop once per level, unless you see it a second time right before the boss. Because you always have the option of a shop right before the boss so you know that's a good way to know that you're about to see the the boss is when you see the shop a second time because you should only see it one time um or there's some that you should only see it one time and then the second time you see it you know that you're gonna have a shop but right now i don't really want to buy anything um like because i feel like i'm pretty good and i'm i'm pretty confident with the um the bone um hydra so i'm just gonna go for hermes boon so why not All right. Um, greater haste, having forty percent speed. Whew. Yeah, uh, the Minotaur is not going to hit me at all. At all, speed really helps. Um, for bosses. Um, the Hydra is like you know very stable, so it's not moving around, so <clears throat> it's not much of a factor on this one. But if we're talking about um, the later bosses. Oh yeah, it's a it's a big factor. So I'm just melting his health. I like the little noise that plays when the uh, acorn shell is triggered. <laughs> it's like oh. I never really notice it, um, but sometimes this game has just so much details in it that y you could play like another 300 hours and you would still find something that you haven't noticed before. Uh, it it's really an amazing game. Okay, I used all my acorn. You see how much damage I prevented right there? Like, it, it lasts a while if you're smart with it. And plus, I should be fine because the fountain should recover all my health later on. Now, to be honest, um, if you look at the uh, boon I got for my god call, I really shouldn't have gone with Hades because it's more of a close range um, call. And it was kind of stupid for me to try to get that because I'm using a uh, long range build. So I didn't know that, but always make sure, again, get things that um, go with, have synergy with what you have. So obviously that Hades, um, that, um, Ares boon doesn't have any synergy with a long range build. So I'm still going to keep, um, the acorn just checking for anything here. Nothing I want full HP ready to rock. <laughs> Thank you.